Hey everyone, my name is David Spratt here with the Carpe Sweat Series. This episode, episode seven, we're gonna talk about compensatory sweating. What is it, how does it happen, and what impact does it have on people's lives? Last week's episode, episode six, we talked about cranial facial hyperhidrosis, face, forehead, scalp sweat. So, I know you all are waiting. What's the embarrassing story for this week? I've been best friends with this guy named Matt ever since we could walk, actually before we could walk. We were two years old when we met and just hit it off, and we've been best friends ever since. This one time, we're like hanging out, and I look over at him to tell him something, and I just completely blank on his name. And I'm just like, ah, uh, And I had to ask him for his name. <laughs> After 20 years of being best friends, I had to ask him what his name was. It was so embarrassing. I was like, I don't even know what happened. I just blanked. So anyways, point is, I do embarrassing stuff. Sweat's embarrassing. Please share your sweat story with me. Send it to david at carpelotion.com. Sweat story of this week. A customer named Yuri sent us a video detailing his sweat story. And it's actually, if you go to the Carpe Reviews, you can see the story below. Basically, he gets a lot of hand and foot sweat and it impacted his life severely. So he bought Carpe and has loved it ever since. He keeps one in his gym bag, he keeps one in his toiletry bag, one in his bathroom, one in his car, one in his office. He keeps it all over and we cannot appreciate that enough. And he's loved it and it's really impacted his life in, in an incredible way. Yuri, we love you to death. Thank you so much for, for sharing your sweat story with us and sharing how Carpe has helped you and impacted your life. We cannot thank you enough. And it's because of people like you, it's because of the impact that Carpe has had on so many lives that makes all of the work that we put into our day to day so worth it and so fulfilling for us. So thank you so much. We can't thank you enough. And please, um, other people, share your sweat story at david at carpelotion.com. Can't wait to read them. So let's get to this week's topic, compensatory sweating. Basically, the fundamental premise of compensatory sweating is that if you severely stop sweating in one area, the sweat's gonna find its way out of your body through another area. So essentially, compensatory sweating is a big side effect of a procedure called endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy, ETS surgery. And basically what physicians do for an ETS procedure is they insert a little camera between your ribs and they look for the sweat glands that produce sweat in your upper extremities and then they cut it. They cut the sweat glands so it stops working and it's really effective for the areas that you're trying to stop the sweat in. However, if you stop the sweat in your underarms through ETS surgery, a lot of times people will start sweating excessively in their hands, their feet, their groin, their face, just all over in all other areas of the body outside of the areas that they stop their sweat in. And it has had a severe impact on people's lives. I went to the International Hyperhidrosis Society's uh, patient advocacy meeting last year in DC, and there was this really profound speaker panelist who was telling her story about ETS, and she had ETS to stop her sweat and she said that it was the worst decision that she's ever made in her life. That was really hard to hear because you have someone who's going to get this procedure thinking that it's gonna change their life for the best and it ends up being a terrible regret because it's led to sweat in a lot of other areas of the body. And now that's not all cases. That's a lot of cases that we hear because that's the, the negative side and that is, that is a lot of them, but there are those success stories. I actually um, spoke with a construction worker the other day who had had ETS surgery and it worked really well for. However, based on the literature, a significant number of people get compensatory sweating and it has an extremely harsh impact on their quality of life. So something to consider, if it does work, it is extremely effective. Like that construction worker, the guy said that he hasn't sweat in 20 years and, it, and it's been extremely effective. That's not all cases, but there are those success stories out there. So if you do choose to get ETS surgery or if you've gotten ETS surgery in the past and you're experiencing compensatory sweating right now in other areas of the body, there are things that you can do. First, you can try an over-the-counter antiperspirant like Carpe Antiperspirant Lotion. It works extremely well. It's not irritating and there aren't any side effects. A lot of people with compensatory sweating also tried Botox injections and they find that to be really helpful. It's just really expensive, but that has helped with the compensatory sweating. So if, if you do experience compensatory sweating, you can look at other prescription solutions like anticholinergics, topical or oral, Botox injections, ionophoresis, or or something over the counter like carpe antiperspirant lotion. So those are basically your options, but I, I hope and pray that you don't experience compensatory sweating. It's extremely, extremely hurtful and impactful for those that, that do experience it and do have it. And so we're trying to avoid that at all costs. So that's basically all there is to compensatory sweating. And that's the high level overview of ETS surgery. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please email me at david at carpe lotion.com, comment below, and please subscribe um, to the Carpe Sweat Series.